So as the marketplace has expanded, you now have much, much more choice of both print service providers and substrates to print on too. I mean, years ago, you'd only have had a, just a couple, but now you've got so many different, different materials. How do you choose your materials and how do you choose who's going to print them for you? For me, it's like a very, very important it's like that it's natural materials and that it's like as sustainable as possible and like well sourced, like locally or as local as I can get. And um, but also like having the flexibility of like, you know, if you have a client who likes a wallpaper but only wants to have like curtains, for example, you can like, you know, switch um, between like substrates and materials. But um, yeah, for me, it's like to be able to rely on the producers that they deliver like the best quality that you want to deliver to your clients. There's like the colours are right. I think that's something that's so often underestimated, isn't it? I think from a designer, you design and create with a surface in mind. Mm. So you design something knowing that you're going to drop it onto a texture. So you might be designing for, you know, a textured vinyl wall covering that's got an emboss on it, because mm. uh, you, you know that. Or in, in, take that, roll that back for textiles, you do exactly the same thing. You think in your head, this is going to go on silk, it's going to be beautiful, and it's shiny and it's going to move. Mm. So I think it's really, really important for you all to be able to have those just that variety of materials out there and then to be able to choose those service providers. So has that, Charlotte, has that changed perhaps over the last five years that you've been trading? Have you, do you see much, much more variety out there for materials and the quality of a print? Yeah, 100%. From, I think I first printed my um, first ever digital designs when I was back at uni and the difference from that to now is is mad. Um, it's ever, the quality is so much better yeah. um, and the lead time is so much quicker. And your customers expect things quicker? Do they yes. want it the same day if possible? Uh, well, yeah, pretty really. <laughs> but the thing is, because now you can kind of print to order, you know, you don't have to hold so much stock. So Stock's the big word, isn't it? Yeah. Nobody wants stock. Right. Exactly. Designer doesn't want stock, store doesn't want stock. Yeah. Exactly, so it just makes it so much more flexible for emerging designers as well to kind of get their name out there. I know for me as a creative as well, it's really nice not to get stuck with stock, isn't it? Because yeah. you continue yeah. your creative journey all the time. Yeah. You know, by the time you've manufactured it, produced it, and created it, you've moved on, haven't mm. you? So you want to your next big thing. Yeah. So it must be really nice. And I guess for both of you, it's been really interesting to find, to, to market your brands in a different way as well. I think you're both quite different in how you market your brands. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's also kind of like, you know, it's, you, you can cover a bigger market because, you know, when you work with hospitality, they've yes. got different expectations than resi residential client. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like, you know, now you've got like so many choices of like finishes for contract vinyl to like, you know, as you said, have like, you know, a texture or it's like, you know, even like fabric backed and stuff like that. And it's like, You've got like more choices now with who you produce and also like the materials you can choose from or your clients can choose from. Yeah. Someone likes it like, you know, shiny, someone likes it more matte. Yeah. Do you find it's as like, well that you, you need, you find the need now and well, you've always had the need but you haven't been able to ask the question before that you can go to the print service provider and say, look, you know, what technology are you using to print this? And is it eco sustainable? Is it friendly? You know, are you controlling waste? What is your sustainable pledge within your business to help you make the choice of which print service provider you might choose in the end? Because your clients ultimately are going to ask for that more and more and more, aren't they?